Sweet and biscuit makers Arnold Football Club have failed to make hay whilst their sun shined as they blew numerous goal scoring opportunities to let Yada Staza off the hook. The Miracle Boys eventually turning tables around with two goals in a smash and grab that saw the men of the Glotha snatch maximum points at Luveve Stadium Saturday afternoon. Yet it had been Yada who had begun promisingly Mandeko Similo's idea to lob the keeper a great one about his execution and letting him down. The away side kept probing. Their press was unsettling the home team and as they frequently won position in danger zones, RNL were forced to retreat and have keeper Aaron Gwenya to thank for tipping Vincent Sango's near post attempt away from danger. RNL finally came out of their defensive shell and had the visitors worried after Toto Banda and Brian Jaravaza exchanged passes as they made their way into the other box but Anotida Ishe Gwatizok was quicker to flash out the danger before Toto Banda pulled the trigger. A quarter of an hour gone, Yada threatened again, Jerich Pangura allowed it to draw closer towards goal before letting go a full-blooded shot that was deflected away for a corner. Toto Banda's industry and sweat will soon account for nothing after breaking clear towards goal on the left and with everyone expecting him to go for goal, he strangely chose to pass and the venom of the chance had been neutralized. Arenella then moved a gear upper to control the game. They passed the ball around as they sought to find gaps in the other fortress and thought they deserved a penalty after Brian Jaravaza's shot came off Mandeko Zimlilo's hand. The referee had judged him and he had placed his hands up behind his back. Without doubt, the mid-stages of the half belonged to RNL as they pinned the Miracle Boys in their box. After Yada keeper George Munupedzi spilled his Busiso Dambos cross, it somehow eluded a flat-footed Kudzai Shedzingwe, but a bustling Cedric Chinomona followed up his crutch tackle, winning him possession to strike a low shot that needed a double save from Munupedzi. RNL were enjoying their game. They sweetened their act with some dribbling skills to entertain, though without goals, it ends as just gallery. Brian Gwenya could have done better justice to Timothy January's crosser than a 10 baller easily gathered by keeper Monopedzi. Yada did not capitulate. They retained the belief, and as they battled, they almost stung the host with Vincent Sango breaking clear on the left to tease his marker before cracking a rising shot that deflected away for a corner. Having weathered the storm, Yada ventured even more up front. The experience of Evan Serusike began to tell, and his runs were troubling the RNL defense both with and without the ball. Half an hour gone, Rusike exchanged the passes with Blessing Dereki, whose attempted goal did not have the venom to cause much problems for Aaron Nguenya. Seven minutes from the break, Yada opened the scores off a magnificent striker from Rusike who received a delicate lob from Vincent Sango to hit home with pace and precision and the men of the cloth's prayers had been answered. RNL almost made immediate response after Toto Banda stole a diving header off an Andreas Chituma cross that Yada keeper George Munupedzi read well. With half-time looming, impressive Sango would roast Cedric Chinomona to deliver an inch-perfect cross into the box that was headed over by Jerich Pangura. One nil at the break, the Miracle Boys working harder for their leaders. Arenella threw almost everything at the visitors in search of a goal, but all in vain. Half the job done, Yada returned to defend what they had achieved in the first half, whilst Arenella going straight into attack as they sought a quick fix to square the scores. Arenella were managing to get behind the Yada defense, though they lacked that cutting edge to beat Munupedzi in goals for Yada. On the other hand, the combination of Rusike and Chipangura was proving quite a handful for RNL and they have said Chinomona's crucial intervention to thank after Rusike had found Chipangura with a clever chip in the box. Substitute Greg Fandada could have done better after being put through by Jaravaza but only found the perimeter fence of a promising chance within the box. The Rusike Chipangura combination was creating all sorts of mayhem for RNL and on 65 minutes they exchanged the passes, Rusike setting Chipangura loose with a majestic back heel and as the RNL defense gave chase, Chipangura appeared to sell everyone a dummy attempting to lob the keeper yet anticipation was on a cross. Yada were as good as done midway through the second half after Sango received a brilliant crossfield pass from Chipangura to sweep past RNL's polite Mwenda, leaving him for dead and coming face to face with the keeper, Sango went for the near post and the job was finished. Yada have Guatizo to thank for keeping the scoreline comfortable on their side after the young left back pivoted to prevent what looked a dangerous moment attacking in a crucial block to defuse a Jaravaza strike. Important win for Yada, who have been playing quite well of late, but harvesting no points in most of their games. It did not come like manna from heaven for the men of the cloth, as they had to weather an RNL stormer, the sweet and biscuit makers showing signs of their good play earlier in the match, yet it would turn out to be flattery to deceive. 2-0 to Yada, a special blessing to their fans that religiously follow their team, are rewarded with a result that moves the Miracle Boys are further up the log from position 16 to 14. For the Premier Soccer League at Luveve Stadium in Vulawayo, I'm Tandazani Zimga. Thank you.